hello world welcome back to my channel i am tori denise and this is simplicity is t if you guys are new go ahead and pause this video hit that subscription button and click that notification bell so you can get an update on when i drop another vlog you vlog and if you guys are returning welcome back you guys already know the vibes that's why you subscribe because it's a vibe period so as you guys can tell by the title today we are on <laughs> Influencer Q&A part three. Yes, guys, we are on part three. Um, I said that I was each month of the year 2023 that I was going to start dropping um, basically my experience as a influencer, upcoming influencer, um, me going through this, throughout this content journey life and just, you know, my YouTube um, journey, etc., etc. Um, as you guys know, I drop Q and A's one and two. If you guys want to go ahead and, I think it's on this side. If I'm not mistaken, whatever. I always get it wrong, but go ahead and hit these little buttons here. This is influencer um, Q and A parts one and influencer Q and A parts two that I went ahead and dropped. Um, yes, they, both of them were dropped in the month of January because December I missed out and then we kicked it back off in January. So we are here. We are here. He gonna be there beside me. Hold on. You mean to tell me that I gotta charge my camera. <laughs> but hey guys. <clears throat> Like I was saying, <laughs> I said that I would vlog my journey as a content creator and all of that and basically talk to you guys about how how this process and how this journey is going. So let's go ahead and tap in, jump into the vlog and get into these questions, guys. Alrighty, so I'm not going in any type of order in particular. Um, first, hold on, get into the other camera. So first I wanna say thank you guys so much for tapping in. I took it to my community tab on my YouTube channel this time instead of my Instagram because you guys, I don't know what's going on, but y'all don't really, they don't really shake and fool with me like that on my Instagram. My IG is kind of hard trying to transition from being a dancer because it went from a dancer page. So that is, has been um, a hard one. Excuse me guys, that was hurting my ear. So. But like I was saying, no order in particular. I am pretty much just gonna go with the flow and go with the first question that I see. So yes, guys, let's go ahead and get into these questions. Questions number one. <clears throat> what made you start content creation? So I did have somebody ask me, kinda asked me this question. It was kinda similar, but at the same time, it wasn't the same question, so yes. I can answer this. What made me start content creating? So originally, I've always liked to be behind the camera and vlog my life. Um, I started watching Tiffany Darling back in 2008-ish, and then, so, well no, take that back. Um, I started recording myself on camera in 2008, February the 2nd, 2008, I started my YouTube channel and I would just post dance videos here and there. Um, I think my whoop rec I'ma post, I'ma post a clip. This is, it's actually still on my YouTube. It's just private and I'm never making it public. So, suck it up. <laughs> but this is my whoop Rico video. This is a shout out to everybody out there in the AUG doing what we go. Keep going in, keep whooping ass and all that other stuff. Well, I'm going to show y'all what I got to do. So, yeah, watch that one. I used to get on YouTube and just post videos of me dancing and this was when YouTube, like, dancing was just literally, the twerk team was a thing on YouTube. So that's why we used to get on YouTube. We used to get on YouTube just to watch the twerk team. 
So, <clears throat> I originally started my YouTube channel just so I could post my dance videos. When I got into high school, um, I would say when I got, when I was getting out of high school. So, I thought about becoming a full-time vlogger, content creator, YouTuber back in college. So, my freshman year in 2012, I was supposed to be a content creator. And I, I'm kind of mad at myself. I'm kind of kicking myself that I did not because who knows where I would be right now. But everything happens for a reason, so it is what it is. Um, but ultimately, since then, July 2022, what made me start content creating was first, I will be honest with you, as someone that said that I was going to be open and honest with you guys when it comes to this content journey, I'm gonna be honest. I only started it just to make money off of YouTube. <clears throat> but <clears throat> now that I know the long the logistics of everything and the ins and outs and what comes into being a content creator and you know just basically doing my research and falling in love with it on a day-to-day -day basis to be honest with y'all now if somebody was to ask me what made you become a content creator because at the time I was just trying to be a YouTuber and an influencer so I would say what made me come become a content creator is loving what I do like I love what I do I love getting behind the camera I love talking to you guys I love you know sharing the bits and pieces of my world that I do want to share with you guys ultimately and I love getting feedback because I don't have a lot of friends and I'm not as close with my family as I would like to be you know I'm still close to my mom sister but other than that like in a way you guys are my little family both my parents are gone you know and it's kind of like I'm like a little orphan so yeah, you know you, you know your girl can get along with it. So that is why, <laughs> good question. That is why I started doing content creating. Next question: Do you think it's difficult to be a content creator as an introvert? Um, no. I personally, just to be real with you, I feel like because I am an introvert, I produce good content. And the reason why I say that is because I'm not always trying to be in the ins and the outs like I'm not trying to be seen in someone's face all the time so for me when it comes to my I can't speak on nobody I can't speak for anybody else but when it comes to my content I personally feel like me being an introvert ultimately drives <laughs> my content this is what makes my content pop because I'm basically putting myself out there to record my life I'm sharing I'm sharing to the world that although I am introverted this is what an introvert life looks like because a lot of people feel like once they hear that word we're freaking weird now granted am I weird mm, the jury still all that but I'm not like everybody else and I feel like you guys wouldn't know that because from the outside looking in, you're just saying, oh, she's introverted. But if you come to this page, you'll realize that, yes, I'm an introvert, but at the same time, I have a social battery. We're not monks, y'all. Like, we we talk. We're just very selective of how we spend our time, people. Question, how does your son feel about you being a YouTuber? Christian loves it. He loves it. He actually wants his own YouTube channel and it's not happening, Captain. He's not mature enough already yet, so. Next question. What would your perfect day be like when you become a full-time content creator? <laughs> oh, um, I don't know. I really don't know. To be honest with y'all, I'm going to Target, bro. <laughs> like, I'm going to Target. I'm legit going, me as a full-time content creator, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I hope I am married and I'm a mom by then so I can just vlog my family and bring them along with me because I feel like me by myself, I'm a little boring, but I'm going to Target. Definitely going to Target. I don't I don't care what anybody says about that, yeah. You're not changing my mind. Target is the number one go-to place that, I, that I'm going to once. Yeah. <laughs> Target. All right, y'all, so I had to adjust the lighting because it is about to get dark. So hopefully I'm not shiny. If I am, I'm sorry, y'all. Like skin problems, um, like my mama. That would be my perfect day, going to Target. Thank you, period. So next question. Um, hold on, that's not a question. 
Okay, boom. Do you believe starting over has set you back? So, whew, that is a good question, actually. Um, Starting over, do I believe starting over has set me back? Honestly, no, not really, because when I first started my YouTube channel, I really wasn't consistent. I really didn't do anything, per se. I really didn't have, like, nothing going on. I'm not gonna say I didn't have nothing going on for myself because I, I was a college student, but I personally feel like I started YouTube and content creating at the right time, at the lowest points in my life. Matter of fact, there is y'all's answer why I started content creating. Um, But like I said, I feel like I started YouTube at the right time, the lowest points in my life when I really just did not have anybody to talk to. Knowing that I was transitioning and moving from a, another state, going to hang, you know, be with my, being away from my friends and things like that, like I knew I had to find a different avenue. As someone who used to dance, I don't dance anymore, so I fell out of love for it. Um, I started it, I came back to it. Started it, came back to it. So for me, it's more so of, it's honestly more so of a wake up calling, personally. Uh, so no, I don't feel like I started. <clears throat> like, I don't, I don't, I feel like I started on time. I feel like the journey is, is right on time. Nothing has set me back, especially when I didn't have anything set up to be set back from, so, if that makes sense. So yeah. How, how to not let social media make you feel like you, you're behind or slacking. So I guess you're asking how do I, how do I not let social media make me feel like I'm behind or slacking? Honestly, <coughs> to be honest y'all, you really just have to find your own lane. That is, that is pretty much, all these questions tie into finding your own lane. That is what we are going to touch on. Um, as far as not allowing social media, one of the things that I always tell people is basically finding your own lane. You guys, I'm sorry, um, but social media is always going to be there. It's always gonna be there no matter what, no matter how we feel, no matter how many times we say that we wanna get, you know, I'm done with social media, I'm not posting anymore. Okay, that's fine. It's still gonna go on. I hate to say it like that, but bye. That's basically how social media works. Um, I feel like you legit have to figure out your own bubble and your own space. Once you figure out your own lane, you got to rock with it and go with it and not allow other people to get into your head. One of the things that someone told me, and this is not to throw shade or bash anybody, but everybody knows I do family fa fas family fashion and um, lifestyle vlogs. I This is a vlogging channel, period, point blank. Like I'm not changing myself for anybody, but someone told me that I do a lot of vlogs on my channel and I should think about doing like you know what's trending and things like that if you are a person and a youtuber out there that wants to do trending topics and things such as that nature that is perfectly fine find your niche find, find figure it out where you want to go that's cool but as far as for me as far as my content journey Vlogging is what I like to do. I was told that I have a lot of vlogs on my channel and there is good content, but most people like to watch vlogs from people that's already popping. And I get it, I may not be popping right now, but I'm gonna always be popping, whether it's to you or anybody else. And I feel like that is, that is, it's true. It is true. Like I can't even be mad. Like you can't. Be, I couldn't be upset at the truth. However, I accept it. But at the same time, I still have to stand in who and be true to who I am. I started my YouTube because I watched a vlogger. I wanted to vlog my journey in my life. So if somebody comes across my channel that does not like vlogs, then this is not a channel for you. 
um, if you're here because you like someone that vlogs and you like a person that vibes and you want to get to know somebody based off of true, true genuine content, welcome. But um, other than that, what you see is what you get, baby. And that is one thing that I have to tell you guys when it comes to social media. Let them people have their life. It is okay. It's okay. Let them have their life. You have to figure out what it is that that drives you. What meta, what motivates you to do your content creating? What what is it? Like what is it? Because if you don't figure it out, baby, you're going to continue to be all up on your social media screen, scrolling and comparing and contrasting. I keep trying to tell y'all stop comparing y'all lives to others. And I get it. I've been there. I'm human. This past week I've had content blockage because there are creators that I do watch and I'm just like, damn, like, I want that. Because at the end of the day, like I said, I'm human. I know what I want for my son and I know what I want for my family. So I'm not going to sit up here and sugarcoat a lot of you guys and say that I don't compare my life because I do. But I also have to realize that that is, that is going to be the biggest downfall. When you start your YouTube journey, tunnel vision it out and continue to just stay Stay true to yourself and trust the process. Yes, it might take you a long time, but let's just be com completely honest. The average YouTuber from day from our our day one YouTubers before YouTube even got popping, our day you our day one YouTubers, they all started from ground zero. Everybody has to start from somewhere. Rome wasn't built up in a day. YouTube honestly normally takes between three to five years but that's the joy of being consistent it's honestly gonna it's gonna show you who's consistent and who's for you who's not jack sees this heels okay jacks come on now which brings me to my next question when it comes to doing youtube youtube content Someone asked me, do I have any tips to give someone who's afraid of trolls? Sorry, y'all. Jack's trying to get into my cup. Um, I don't know. So when it comes to trolls, you have to, not even trolls. That also ties into the social media um, question. When it comes to trolls, baby, they gonna come. This is, this is social media, this is the world. When you start putting out your life Everybody's not going to agree and rock with it. They didn't like Jesus. You have to have tough skin. Like I said, have tough skin, tunnel it out, and water under the water off a of duck's back, child. Because who? Perry. <laughs> What's been the most common trend you've seen as a new YouTuber? So. Oh, Jesus, y'all are hitting me. Like, y'all are hitting me. Jax, get from over there. Um, what I will say, YouTube as a whole, to be completely honest, um, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube as a whole has the dynamics of YouTube has switched within itself. Nowadays, most people are getting on YouTube just to say, I got a channel. Y'all get up on the, <laughs> let me tell you something. Y'all get up on this platform and really don't know how it works. Y'all really don't know how it, how it works. And I'm saying it because I was, I was a y'all. I was one of those people that was like, oh, they got a YouTube channel. I got X amount of um, followers on um, IG. They definitely gonna follow me there. Please. The minute I made my YouTube, well, the minute my YouTube, I wanted to do YouTube as a thing full time. I barely had people subscribing. 200 people came to my channel. Just 200. Now we're at 9, but 200 people. So I basically started from 200 in July. and grind. So from July to now, February, we're at 900 some subscribers. I thought that out of my 14 some odd K followers, I probably got like 13 something now. I don't care. I honestly thought that those people from that social media platform was going to come and join me on this social media platform. One of the things that I have to say, <laughs> a lot of people get on YouTube thinking that it's 
it works like every social media platform and that is what i have seen as a trend and it pisses me off because you do have people like me that has good quality content and you do have people that have you know uh, there's other lifestyle content other lifestyle family creators and things like that that's out there and we don't see it because it's so much shits and giggles on here and clickbait and things like that things such as that nature i do however do see it dying i do because y'all know how it's it's a trend now that's the whole thing about trends youtube is going to show you who's real and who's not i'm telling y'all right now those people it be it's a lot of people that has x amount of subscribers and they just mentally uh, being a content creator is more than what they bit off and then when they realize that it's more than what they bargained for, they stop. And that's all I'm waiting on, baby, because what? I'm still doing me. How do you come up with video ideas when you are a personal channel? Ooh, how do I? Okay, so a personal channel, how do I come up with content ideas? So um what i do i pre-plan my vlogs for each month so for the month of january per se i went ahead and wrote down listed eight the eight vlogs that eight vlog ideas that i've thought about um i go look at other people's channels that i follow to see if they talked about a topic that i've never touched on is this something worth putting out there and things such as that nature so i don't necessarily I wouldn't say I honestly don't even come up with my titles until after I shoot the vlogs because it might be something that I touch on in that particular vlog or that I honestly want to surround my entire segment about um, sometimes I sometimes I brainstorm as far as like I go on Pinterest and things like that but for the most part I get most of my ideas by piggybacking off of others um, and I just make it my own. For instance, my influencer Q&A segment, to be honest y'all, I, I was watching one of my people that I'm subscribed to and she did an influencer Q&A when she first started out. And for me, it's like, oh, I see so many people doing these influencer Q&As, but they never talk about, you know, their journey during the process. And how do I make this different? So me making it different is basically doing the influencer Q&A. Yes, but dropping my influencer Q&A, what I've learned throughout the months, what I want to learn and going forward. And then we're just naming it different things. So as you guys can tell by this title, this one is called influencer Q&A understanding your journey <laughs> understanding your journey um why youtube trending and topics and all that you know just things like that so as you got you guys you guys know what the title is is it too late to be a content creator why do you feel everyone is doing it and do you think it will die so i've already answered the two of those questions but um the question, is it too late to be a content creator? No, I feel like it's never too late because you have to ask yourself, are you doing it to be a creator or are you doing it just for the likes of others? And it is sometimes where you are not going to want to post anything. You're not going to want to do anything because the views aren't coming in and or the likes aren't coming, the subscribers aren't coming. And that's when that's when that whole making a break trying figuring out who's who's in it for for a reason like you literally have to do this because you love to do this if you say that you're a content creator you believe that you're a content creator if you say that you're an influencer you have to believe that you're an influencer just because you see these people with all these glitz and glams okay you may not be able to afford that now but you have something in your closet that you use on a daily basis to influence people. Use that, articulate it, and run with it. What do you mean? Like, just do what you gotta do. But as far as, do I see it dying? Absolutely, it's going to die because of that particular reason. Everybody's trying to get on it, everybody's trying to ride the wave. But I will say, 
Just because everybody is on a social media platform does not mean that you cannot do it too. You out of a thousand some odd people, you may just be that one person. You never know. So, no, it's not too late. Chase after your dreams and go get that bag, so. What about you do? What about you do you feel allows people to want to subscribe to your channel? <sighs> I keep trying to tell y'all, I am a vibe. Stop, Jack. Honestly, I would say just, I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I personally would just say the fact that I am myself. Like, what you see is what you get. I don't switch my voice up to, on social media. I Like, I might dress it up to where it's professional, yes, but this is the same tone. This is how I am. What you see is what you get. And that's what makes me different. Like, I legit posted a whole entire clip. The difference between me and others, I don't have to fake who I am and if you are subscribed to my channel they can y'all can they can, vouch, they can they can vouch for me I don't have to fake who I am or any of that and I feel like ultimately when people see that okay she's genuine and she's being honest and true to herself this is what makes people drive you know want to subscribe to me I'm a vibe it's cool over here I don't act stuck up like I'm not a stuck up um content creator or anything like that because life be life in and nobody's better than anybody so i think that's why people subscribe to me because i'm just i'm that girl <laughs> y'all what do you think has been the number one reason for your growth on youtube and what brand would you like to work with the most um i would say one of the reasons that i feel like my number one reason as far as with my YouTube, and I know a lot of people would say consistency, but no, I would say God because I trust in him and I know this is something that I truly want to do and this is something that I truly love to do and that's where that's where it it changes. There's been times where I don't want to get on this camera and talk to you guys. There's been times where I just want to say F it and give up and you know, not even want to do this anymore. But I will say consistency and knowing that I do have at least a small audience engaging with me you know looking for content that's what drives me the most so I feel like my growth has ultimately came from God and being consistent <laughs> um what brand would I like to work with the most Ooh, that is a good question believe it or not um, believe it or not, Nike. Like, Nike, um, fitness-wise, I love, I love their, their gear as a whole. Um, if I had to choose as far as fashion-wise, that's a hard one. Fashion-wise, mm. I don't know y'all. <laughs> um, <clears throat> as far as designer, it will probably have to be, um, Steve Madden. I just like it, like, it's just different. I really don't have anybody in particular because I'm broke. Be <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna come back to that one. I'm gonna come back to that one. Um, how do you stay motivated to keep recording and posting even when you are not feeling down? I mean, even when you're not feeling good or feeling down. Honestly, y'all, you guys, you guys, knowing that you guys are waiting and you're wanting more content, and you want, you know, you want to see what's going on in my little world. So, you guys, you guys drive me. You guys give me that that flame to my fire that I need and then my last question guys do you feel being an influencer affects your everyday life and job would you be a creator full-time and would or would you consider both um I would say being a creator and an influencer 
it does affect my everyday life and my job because at the end of the day, this is what I do. It's a part of my everyday life and my job. I show you guys what I do every day as a, you know, a marketing representative and I show you guys that I'm a mom. Um, but it's not in a bad way as far as being a, doing it for both full time, I do feel like I would probably work two jobs or if I was to become a full time clear, if I was to become a full time content creator, I feel like that I have to be do, doing something else. Like something else has to be done, whether it's volunteering or working at the school or doing something for my kids, I will have to be doing something else. Like I can't, I can't sit down at home um so yes <laughs> but guys that was some good questions overall i will say um <clears throat> so far in this journey as far as trying to figure out influencing and things like that someone did ask me oh, one question that i did get was how has it been so far and how do i know if I'm a content creator or an influencer. So, since we are in the month of February, and like I said, I started in July. So July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. We are seven months in, guys. Um, <laughs> whew, I wouldn't change it. I will say, since I have started the journey, I have learned so much in burnouts, is a thing like you can get burnt out um so that it would be one of the tips that i would throw out there please take your time breathe and understand that it is not a race slow and steady guys slow and steady a lot of people they don't get that and they don't grasp that concept and i will say vlogmas honestly humbled me because i was so busy trying to i was like i wanted to get that content out let me put the, let me put it out let me put it out but I realized that less is more, you know what I'm saying? Granted, it it helped me understand what I wanted to do as far as going into this whole entire, you know, influencing ordeal. And it helped me understand mentally what I am versus a content creator and an influencer. Um, since January, um, I've now realized that I'm more so of a lifestyle influencer. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, we're always going to do fashion because fashion is something that I love to do. But I cannot. Some people got you got to be honest with yourself. Being honest with yourself as an influencer. And that is something that I had to learn um, in the month of De December and January. You have to be honest with yourself. Don't. Put yourself in a hole financially to put out content for people, not even people, to put out content where you're not getting it back. Now, am I saying that I'm not getting it back? Yes, I am. In a way, I am getting it back, but financially, I'm not getting anything back. And until I can get coins back financially, I don't want to centrally and mainly focus my channel on just fashion. I love my family, I love my boyfriend, I love my son. And as you guys see, we, we have a dog now. So I love Jack's baby and all that. So it's just like, I have a family too. I gotta eat just like y'all gotta eat. And you have to realize if this is something that you're going to do, understand, understand what you're going to do. I jumped out, I jumped into this head first saying, oh, I'm just gonna do fashion, thinking that my closet was the shit. Now don't get me wrong, my closet is heavy, but my closet isn't heavy to the point where I can post and do fashion hauls every month right now, and I can't. So it is seasonal fashion hauls, <laughs> and it's okay. You can accept that, it is what it is. Um, but overall, um, in the month of January and February, um, so far I have learned that patience and trusting the process y'all this Q&A was just for that I wanted to get some questions from you guys and just to see where you guys are at and I also wanted to pour into you guys and give you guys some feedback on where I was at all together as a whole 
But guys, that is part three of this segment. Stay tuned for part four. Part four is going to be a little different. We will be basically talking and going a little further in depth on my journey. But as we guys always say, oh, as we guys, as we always say, guys, <laughs> but as we always say, make sure you guys are telling friends to tell their friends to tell their friends to tune into Simplicity is T and tap, tap, tap in. I shall see y'all on parts number four. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys aren't subscribed, go ahead and click that notification bell. Subscribe to my channel so you can get an update on when I drop another vloggy vlog. I know I said that wrong, but shoot, my camera is over, it's dying, I think. But yes. Thanks guys for tuning in. Love you, bye. <laughs>